the kingdom of God also being inside of you is a strategy for the extension and the expression of the kingdom. In Matthew 13, I showed you the progression of that parable. Remember that? The progression of that parable. How that the parable of the sower, the responsibility there falls with the pastor, the man of God, the preacher man. Is that not so? And the field being the house of God. The seed being the word of the kingdom. And the fruit of that parable. Children of the kingdom. We then progress to the next parable, which is the parable of the wheat and the tares. We set the cosmos there. The field there is now cosmos, the world. The one planting is no longer the preacher. It's now Jesus. And the, the seed of this parable is now the fruit of the first parable. Are you following me now? Because the Bible says the seed are the children of the kingdom. So you agree with me, therefore, that a believer is a seed. Stay with me. A believer is a what? A believer is a what? So stay with me. Note this. The word of God is a seed. The word of the kingdom is a seed. Planted in the heart of a believer. That seed grows in the heart of a believer. Huh? And makes a kingdom man. That kingdom man becomes a seed. That Jesus can now plant. Both seeds have something in common. Do you understand what I'm saying? What they have in common is revealed in the next parable. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like mustard seed. In other words, wherever you find the kingdom, it is also like a mustard seed. It starts as, as it starts over very small, but over time it gains so much capacity that it covers the entirety of the forest. In another parable, the Bible says the kingdom of God is like living, and it does not stop until it leavens the entirety of the lump. Are you following me now? It prevails in dominion. That is the nature of the kingdom of God. So watch this. The nature of the kingdom that is planted in your heart upon salvation is such that it does not stop until it conquers the entirety of your person. Stay with me. The kingdom is planted in your spirit as the sphere of divine life. Remember, sit down. As the sphere of divine life. Remember that? In your spirit. But it does not stop until it leaves the whole lump. So it looks for territory. It extends beyond the borders of your spirit and climbs into your soul because it must conquer your soul too. It begins to conquer your soul by teaching you the value systems of the kingdom. From an angry man, you become a patient man. You lose the ability to be angry because you have been conquered by the kingdom. The kingdom now is, is, is living the whole lump. Do you understand what I'm saying now? From a man that had every loss of money, you no longer what it, you no longer have, know what it means to lust after money. Money has become like dust in your heart. The kingdom is living in the whole lump. Are you seeing that now? From someone who was a fornicator, you no longer have the zeal to do all of these things because the kingdom inside of you is living in the whole lump. It is becoming a mighty forest. It goes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So, from just a seed planted in your spirit, it begins to gain capacity. It extends its borders to your soul, extends its borders to your body until it consumes the entirety of you. When it consumes the entirety of you, you become a seed. That seed now has the same nature, such that when God plants that seed, that seed too must now begin to spread. Do you understand what I'm saying? That seed must now begin to spread in influence, in relevance. So that wherever God plants you, it might it might be in a place of work as a secretary, as a secretary. But because it is a kingdom man that was planted there, it is the nature of the kingdom to spread. Because the living must live on the whole lump. So the reason why a believer will remain small if if he's not a child of the kingdom, if he is, the living must live in the entirety of the lump. The seed must become a forest. Must become a mighty tree that birds of the air will come and perch on that is the nature of the kingdom we have received 